a blockbuster release. Panama Papers. The documents were leaked to the German newspaper Süddeutsche Zeitung. We turned out of the banking bombshell causing shockwaves around the world. Edward Snowden calling it the biggest leak in the history of data journalism. Dear Mr. Langen, dear Chairman, dear members of the committee, sorry for not being here today in Brussels to speak to you, but I hope that I can contribute a little bit um, with this video to your efforts. For me, the Panama Papers are not only about taxes. They are not only about tax minimization and tax evasion. They are also about money laundering, about sanctions breaching, and about criminals hiding their wrongdoing. And that's something we should always keep in mind, that if we speak about what is going on in the offshore world, is that we speak about a world where, a parallel world, where the riches and the wealthy hide their money and also where criminals hide their wrongdoing. The Panama Papers have shown that in many cases end customers do not go directly to offshore providers like Mossack Fonseca. They use middlemen and these middlemen are wealth managers or banks. And if we speak about banks, it's also European banks that do help their customers to set up offshore companies and with this service helping to set up accounts on the name um, of offshore companies. What was striking or struck my eyes was to see that it was also banks that have been saved with state money, with tax money during the financial crisis, that these, exactly these banks did then on the other hand side help their customers to betray the state. In the Panama Papers we have also seen comments, comments of Marsac Fonseca guys meeting with bankers. And in these comments we do see that the bankers do well know what they are doing. We have seen sentences like bankers explaining to Marsac Fonseca employees that they want to, to help their customers to evade taxes. And this shows me that there is no risk awareness or awareness of, of laws or morality within this community. So I think if you do want to focus on the offshore world on, and what you've seen in the Panama Papers, banks should also be one aspect of it. Some of you have in the last or in the past weeks contacted me by asking what can we at this committee do? How can we investigate the Panama Papers? Um, and I think there are several possible approaches. On the one hand side, there are Mossack Fonseca employees, former employees. If you do a little bit of Googling, um, you will find their names. And some of them may be willing to speak about what they have seen while working uh, with Mossack Fonseca. Then there are experts like Joseph Stieglitz or Mark Piet. They have been part of the commission that was set up by the Panamanian government to clean up or to propose law, changes of law uh, in Panama. And both of them have left the commission because, as they said it, there was not enough transparency. But they have made up their minds about what should be changed. So if we want to invite them, I'm sure that they would be really great people to speak with. And then you can ask the EU member states. You can ask them, are there any investigations running against Mossack Fonseca or the owners of Mossack Fonseca. For example, Jürgen Mossack, one of the owners, is, as far as we know, EU citizen. He has, apart from a Panamanian passport, a German passport. And we do see him in the Panama Papers being involved in decisions like, for example, keeping Rami Maklouf, the cousin of Bashar al-Assad, a customer of Mossack Fonseca, although at this uh, stage there have already been sanctions against Rami Maklouf. So maybe a EU member state um, does already investigate it. And if not, I personally ask myself, why not? Then you could ask EU member states if there have been investigations where Mossack Fonseca was involved in the past. I'm pretty sure that there are some, um, but it would be a starting point to see where their business is leading to. And then there are my colleagues from the ICIJ and from this big team um, that did the investigations of the Panama Papers. And we are to your disposal. So if you do have any further questions, 
Um, we are willing to answer those and I would be happy to come to Brussels then and speak with you and answer your questions and help you thus by changing something. Because I think now it's time for action. It's time for the EU to act. It's time for governments all around the world to act, to fight for more transparency, um, to bring more transparency in the world of tax havens. Mm -hmm.